Okay, the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is power off the laptop by shutting it down. Now go ahead and power it on, and the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is hold down the Command and S key. Be sure to continue to hold down on the Command and S key. Until you see all this come up, all the text that comes up on the screen, like the coding software or the coding uh, verbiage that comes up on the screen. Then you're going to notice down at the bottom, it's going to say local host root. Okay, now here you're going to type in the word mount, M-O-U-N-T, then a space, then a dash, and U, W, then a space and backslash. Then you're gonna hit enter. Now on the second line, you're gonna type in R, M, and a space, then backslash, V, A, R, backslash, D, B, backslash, dot apple set up done make sure that's all together so once you have that all typed in make sure that it's all correct then you're going to hit enter or return okay next on the third line you're going to type down shut down together and then a space, then a dash, the letter H, and then a space, and the word now, N-O-W. Then you're going to hit enter or return. Then let it do its thing, and now it will completely reset itself. Okay, now that you've given it a little bit of time and you realize that this screen has shut itself down, you're gonna go ahead and hit the power button and that will turn it back on. And as you can see here, it's at the initial setup of the MacBook. So now it has been completely reset. So now you just have to go through the setup process of getting it set back up to the Wi-Fi that you're connected to. Well, hopefully this was helpful to you guys. If it was, make sure you throw a thumbs up on this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel so I can make more videos just like this.